Danes were attacking England. Well, at the time, England was a few areas of land owned by kings. The battles were well matched, so they fought with anything on hand. The year was 800, the height of the axe. The fighters were poor, so they needed a weapon that was cheap, but fearsome. They encouraged fear by any antics necessary, banging weapons on shields. At the height of the axe, who were those fighting? Well, at this time it was the Danes, a country in the cold north. They had to go travel south over the sea to reach England, where they'd stage their attacks. The Danes wanted to expand, so they took the term Viking, which merely means raider by sea, and started to expand. They aimed most of their attacks on England. While it was poor, it was still broken up into bits, so they thought it would be easier to capture. However, this strengthened England and firmly resolved. Later, they became a strong empire. England at that time consisted mostly of farms and farmers who weren't associated with battle, but that's why the axe played such a key role at this time. The axe was easy to use, so this gave Saxon farmers power. The axe was a very versatile weapon, so it was very effective during shield walls and close quarters. It was common to hook an enemy sword and throw it to the ground, or to hook an enemy shield and yank it free, so if there is someone behind you, he can attack your exposed opponent. The many uses of an axe, like a weapon or a farming implement, made it last throughout history. There are other things that were valuable in warfare at this time, like shields. Most had an iron boss in the middle, which furthered its purpose to be strong and to block heavy attacks. Shields had to withstand damage. Once again, these were versatile too. They could push an enemy away. Block heavy hits and it even in some situations could be thrown at the enemy. As shield, axe, and sword were important, so was a short sword, or a Saxon seeks. It was nimble and hard to dodge. Still, the axe proved to be the most versatile. For instance, it could hook an enemy's ankle and throw him forward, and it was common to throw it at the enemy. After continuous raids, the Danes had succeeded in pushing the Saxons deep into their own country. Things were beginning to look very bleak for the Saxons. But since axes were cheap and affordable, they could afford many warriors and could help fight off the Danish cause. The Danes began to lose their footholds, and in the end, King Alfred the Great united the Saxons and warded off the Danes. The Danes continued to try to push into Saxony, but it did not work. Because of this weapon, the Saxons were able to fight off their enemies, and so it can be said that England was forged from the axe, along with many other empires as well. In retrospect, the axe is very important. It gave the poor a chance to fight, and because of that, it was used into the medieval ages and even on through the Renaissance. 
though doubtless its glory days were during the age of the Viking, giving it a great legacy and making its own mark throughout history.